The Dalton Highway is a, it's a pretty unique place. Basically, one road that cuts through the entire like northern half of Alaska. So much of Alaska is essentially inaccessible. Though Dalton starts down in a place called Live and Good. It used to be the end of the road and then goes clear to Dead Horse, clear up on the Arctic Ocean. The road wasn't nearly as good as it is now. It took more than a day to get up there. Finally made it up here and got got camp set up and spotted a big herd of caribou that were kind of moving into the mountains to bed down for the night and uh, yeah it's that's yeah, pretty exhausting it's a long drive every <clears throat> seems like everything in Alaska is just logistics and fuel and gear and yeah so we're we're just kind of getting settled in and, and hopefully we'll get up early tomorrow and get all get everything squared away and ready to go you know, hopefully find find some of these caribou and, and get some stalks in and we'll see how it goes. It's about, about 10 degrees right now, but we got the wood fire chirping and nice warm tent and uh, ready to go to bed. The Dalton Highway or Hall Roads actually, you know, here because of the oil development in Prudhoe Bay, um, they needed a way to get to to get equipment and industrial stuff to and from the oil fields. So and, and to facilitate running the pipeline. So they they built the they built the road in I think 1974. It was finished and first opened public access to it in 1980 and it really unlocked just a tremendous amount of country so much so much of alaska is essentially inaccessible you know there's spots that are accessible by plane but um yeah, it's just true wilderness the hall road is uh north of the yukon is bow hunting only for five miles either side of the road and it's and it's what i i think is the largest bow hunting only area or largest chunk of bow hunting only public ground in the entire world yeah caribou do what they do those ones are doing that way whatever they're doing they're doing it that way it's sickening how how quickly they cover ground like even it just uh like lollygagging st strolling feeding pace like you could a person could never keep up with them Well, we're back having second breakfast at one o'clock in the afternoon. Um, actually had a pretty eventful morning. Um, wasn't sure exactly what the caribou were going to do. Or, you know, we'd seen a bunch last night and, you know, they just, they're going to do what they're going to do. So, got up this morning and almost immediately saw, you know, there's a big herd of, you know, probably over 500 or more, you know, in the distance. And I saw some more, another herd that looked like it was coming, coming our direction. And then pretty quickly saw 
you know, saw a caribou popping up on a ridge that had crossed this creek that we're camped by, you know, real close within striking distance. And we made our way around to try and try and find a way to get in to intercept ones that are still coming without spooking the whole bunch. And we just, you know, there's only so much you can do. And they ended up just meandering off and, and getting really out of our reach and came back to camp and spotted another bunch doing the same thing. So we hoofed it and just almost made it in time. You know, we got there and was looking, I was looking for the spot because I knew they were gonna cross in the same spot. And we're almost there and I peeked up over the cut bank and they're, you know, coming towards us like 50 yards away and, and flared them out and spooked them. So, you know, that was that. They, they didn't run far, but you know, once they start, once those caribou start moving a certain direction, you know, you, you're not going to catch up to them. So kind of pull back and see what, you know, do some more glassing and maybe drive around and see, you know, what some of these herds are doing and, and come up with a plan for the evening. But yeah, he went full. Eventful morning, lots of exercise. So it kind of starts at the Yukon Bridge. Well, really, the Dalton starts down in a place called Live and Good, which is a little north of Fairbanks. It used to be the end of the road and then goes uh, clear to Dead Horse, clear up on the Arctic Ocean, about uh, 550 miles almost exactly from my house. So it's a long drive. It's not like a 30 minute drive into deer country, into some of the western states, into we live here, but. Uh, if you, it's just such a unique place, you know. The, what have we seen? Moose, caribou. I very seldom go up here without seeing muskox, uh, sheep. I've seen not this trip, grizzly bears. Yeah, there. It's, it's really an Arctic. It's probably the only Arctic environment accessible by road in the United States, I would think. Well, we kind of hung, hung in camp a little later this morning, waiting, hoping another, like yesterday, some more caribou would come over and, and cross down where where um, they did yesterday. And it, we haven't seen any popping up yet, so we're gonna jump in the truck. And we see you know, a lot scattered around the hills, but we're gonna go see if we can get a better vantage point on this stuff behind us and you know, see if there's, there's any movement in a direction that we can cut them off. And yeah, we'll see what happens. been working uh, this gully caribou tend to cross it several times a day so we saw some off in the distance coming but as usual we got here late so I thought maybe three guys was too many so we just told Tyler take off by yourself uh, because a number of half the herd maybe I don't know 150 200 caribou are standing right over there and uh, so we thought maybe one guy wouldn't be as disruptive so he took off down this gully and the, evidently the caribou saw him but they still wanted to cross and looked like he shot a really nice bull uh, at least that's what it looked like to me because the bull took off at a dead sprint which normally they won't do unless they're in trouble so 
we think he held both hands up in the air like he got one so we think he's got a caribou down over here it looked like a really nice bull well i just i can't believe that worked but it, i just shot one and we're just giving him some time to make sure but um, you know totally lethal shot and uh, yeah, i can't believe can't believe that happened can't believe it worked